All right. Uh, I'm I'm going to show you a few changes on this program, and hopefully it should give you an idea of how to write the, the code better. Uh, first of all, thanks for taking the trouble and um, trying it out in the first place. And let's see now how you can actually make a few changes here. Uh, like I said in the email, we have a few rules, we have a few standards that we maintain. So we're going to, to adjust your program accordingly now. Let's start with this one now. The HTML body section, there is no need to indent that, so I get that behind. And likewise, the div tag, I just select them and get them back like that and the closing body tag as well so this is done and now I come to the PHP code uh, there is really no need to indent this section so much so I'm going to make a few changes here to get this indenting off select the whole block and move it back that's fine this would be the typical setup and how it would look. Now, coming on to, oh, sorry. Now, actually, uh, within a div, as a rule, I would like to indent the code. So, let me take that whole block of PHP inside the div and one indent forward, right? So that's our start. Now about the variables you've used, the system, uh, the, 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 the constants you've used, it doesn't really matter because uh, it's a good way of doing it, but uh, actually you wouldn't really have to do this because in, in our programs we have a separate module, a separate file that you would just include in, your, in the project and it would really do the needful in terms of checking for the server, opening the database and so on. But we come to something more important. Since this is a debugging session, it's okay to use this method. But in the real system, we would not use the die function like this with MySQL error because it would give an idea to uh, a hacker, for example, uh, or someone with a bad intent that uh, this is the problem, this is why it crashed, this is why it didn't open. So they could try the other method uh, if, if one fails, they try a different method to get the program working. So for the purpose of debugging, yes, we can, we can use MySQL error and just echo it like this, but otherwise it's better to avoid this and we just put our own messages uh, instead. I'll just leave that for now. Uh, next we come to the table name. Uh, if you notice the mail I sent to you, I had, I had specified a certain uh, case sensitive uh, table name and I mentioned that all Linux systems are case sensitive where uh, where table names are concerned so you would have to rechange that like that now the important thing is that uh, it I, I get the picture that you have actually used Microsoft Windows to create this system uh, we used to do this as well before and we realized that no matter how you try to, uh, to name your tables, ultimately uh, Windows tends to change the entire thing to lowercase. Uh, and this would be a problem the moment you upload the code onto the real server on, on Linux Apache because it would not work because it, it's strictly case sensitive there. So that's a very important point and I think the same thing would apply to this uh, field name which you call search word, I will put it like that. Now coming on to indenting the code here, this is nicely done, but I would like to put the bracket along with the intent, indent. So it goes like that. And if you were to do this, do it so. And we have an indent there as well. Now. Coming on to the actual make uh, actual uh, loop, the actual program itself, uh, the part that does the printing of the tags. Logically, your program works fine. That's good. But the point is, 
I, I think we could make it a lot more efficient by making a few changes to this. Before I go there, I would like to name the field with a capital F. That is, we have a standard that we name all the fields starting with the capital letter, unless it's a parameter where we put a simple P, a lowercase p. Now, your variable to keep track of the uh, to keep track of the uh, class name uh, is is dollar i, and the the problem here is that it's it's not assigned an initial value, and I would like to do that by saying i is equal to zero. And instead of doing this. I think it's starting off with incrementing it by one, so I'd rather make that one. So the problem is solved. Now we we see how the, how already the program is getting shorter. Uh, this one name, it's not really being used. It's not being used in your program, so I'm going to take that out as well, because you seem to be printing the field names straight off. So that's done, and now this part where you're saying if it is if i is one, do this; if i is two, do this, and three, and so on. Logically, it's fine, but I think I can do without all of these things. So I'm just going to take that whole lot out, and it's deleted. Now, looking at what we have remaining out of the whole thing, I'm going to, without doing this check here. I'm going to simply say print out not by using double quotes, uh, not by using the single quote, but a double quote. The reason is that when I'm when I want to print, I want to print a variable inside this string. So if you want to print a variable, you should be printing, you should be using double quotes and not the single quotes. Now we come to this point. It's going to technically print echo, span, class, and it's it's including another set of another pair of double quotes in here. To solve this problem, so the the problem here is that the the, the PHP compiler would think that you're closing the string at this point. So to, to say ignore this, I'm going to escape it by using this symbol, the backslash. And without saying print s1, I'm saying print i, the variable i. And since we changed this to uppercase, I'm going to make that change there. So you can look at the logic of the program now. When, when it says when i is 1 in the start, you're printing i, which is the value of i, that will be 1, and then the field. And at this point now, I'm going to say increment i by 1, so i becomes 2, and so on and so forth each time it runs through the loop. And then we say, if i is more than 5, then simply reset i back to zero. Not to zero in this case it's going to be one and we don't need this block anymore here. There we are. The program, the code has been shortened quite a lot. Obviously lesser conditions uh, means it's also going to work faster, more efficient in terms of execution and also it's going to be shorter in length.